So hind limb is supplied by lumbosacral plexus, which is formed by fourth, fifth, and sixth lumbar and first and second sacral spinal nerves. And uh, lumbar plexus, if we say that lumbar plexus is formed and gives three branches, that is lateral cranius nerve at the level of transfer process of last three lumbar vertebrae, and then continue as and gives main branch that is the femoral nerve, largest branch of the lumbar plexus in this position. This is the femoral nerve position, it is passing and the level of stifle joint medial aspect it is going. This is the lateral aspect because this is the ridge we can see here. So this is the lateral aspect, biceps, this is the biceps femoris. So this passing towards the medial aspect means opposite side that is known as saphenous nerve and obturator nerve. Another branch of the, this lumbar plexus is obturator nerve which is supplying the obturator externus, obturator internus pectineus and adductor muscles. Next is sacral plexus. Sacral plexus is giving thin three branches that is cranial gluteal, sci sciatic nerve and caudal gluteal nerve. So cranial gluteal nerve which is formed by first lumbar and first sacral spinal nerve is passing through the greater sciatic foramen in the pelvic cavity and through that it is giving the supply to the muscles of the lateral aspect of hind limb in the region of thigh that is gluteus muscle. Then caudal gluteal which is coming from the greater sciatic foramen also and it is formed by first and second sacral spinal nerve supplies the biceps femoris, biceps femoris muscle and semi tendinosus muscle. Then the sciatic nerve which we can see here which is the largest branch of the sacral plexus which is also supplied the biceps femoris and semi tendinosus muscle and it is the largest branch which is now continue, continue in the region of gastrocnemius. Here you can see the one branch is passing along the front of the Achilles tendon that is known as tibial nerve. This is a continuation of sciatic nerve. This is the sciatic nerve. This is the continuation of sciatic nerve. So tibial nerve is supplying the flexor muscle because it is present on the posterior aspect. Then flex, this tibial nerve is passing through the tarsal canal. It is present in this position at the region of hop. And then it is giving the lateral and medial plantar nerves. So here we can see this the plantar nerves which is going like this and supplies the region of digits. Another branch of the sciatic nerve is that is the, the and tibial is the continuation of the sciatic nerve when another branch which is passing to the lateral aspect of the gastrocnemius is known as peroneal nerve or fibular nerve. So peroneal or fibular nerve is passing at the level of lateral aspect of the gastrocnemius is divided into superficial branch and deep branch. So deep peroneal nerve supplying the Muscles of extensor group, this is the muscles of extensor group at the anterior lateral aspect here present. So deep peroneal nerve supplies the muscles of anterior lateral aspect and it is giving and supplying at the region of digits also. So like this, the lumbosacral plexus is formed. So I am repeating again what is the summary of, of lumbosacral plexus. The lumbar plexus is formed by caudal cutaneous femoral nerve, femoral nerve and continuation of femoral is saphenous nerve passing towards the medial aspect of the stifle joint and obturator nerve. Then sacral plexus which is giving three branches, cranial gluteal nerve, sciatic nerve and caudal gluteal nerve. Sciatic is largest nerve in this uh, group. This is the passing and giving at the level of Achilles tendon at a posterior aspect. This is known as tibial nerve and one which lateral aspect is passing that is known as fibular or peroneal nerve. Peroneal nerve is divided into superficial and deep branch. Deep peroneal supplies the extensors and tibial branch of the sciatic. Tibial is the continuation of the sciatic which is supplying the flexors. Then tibial is passing to the tibial, this tibial tarsal, uh, we can see that at the region of tarsal that is passing for tibial canal. And then it supplies, it is giving medial and lateral branch at the level of plantar aspect, so this is known as medial and lateral plantar nerve and supplying the digits. This superficial and deep also supplying at the level of digits. Okay. So this is all about the nerves of the hind limb.